Okay, let's go over processing the slow motion video. For this tutorial, we'll be using Sony Vegas on the PC side, just for ease of use, and uh, Adobe After Effects. Okay, let's start right in. Uh, right now, what we have is a 24p project in uh, Sony Vegas, and this would be the same in any nonlinear editor that you might use. Uh, right now, we have a 60p clip. Uh, brought into this 1080p project and it's automatically stretching it to 1080p. What we're going to do is we're going to slow down the clip. So to do that we're going to change the playback rate to 0.4. So we're slowing it down to playback at 24 frames per second. Real time, uh, if I weren't recording audio I'd be able to watch this real time. What we have is just a, a cork popping with, unfortunately, nothing else popping out of it. So, right now this is playing back in 24p. So what we're going to do is we're going to slow this down to now 300 frames per second. We'll take this clip right here, and we're going to export that. And I'll render that out. Actually, if you wanted to, you don't have to... Uh, do this step with your nonlinear editor if you just have After Effects. Uh, you can just bring the, the footage into After Effects and, and work with it that way. Um, I do it this way so that it's it's just an easier workflow for me because usually with 60p footage I will already um, sometimes I'll just edit it and want it that at 24p and then I'll render this out and import into Avid. So, Okay, we're going to make a new composition, and again, our final project is going to be 1080p, so this is going to be a 1080p project at 2397. I'm going to import that footage I just exported. Before I drag it to my composition, I'm going to interpret the footage, and I'm going to have it loop uh, seven times. It doesn't matter, you can change that to whatever you want. Uh, depending on the speed, you need to do that before setting your slow motion, otherwise the clip can overrun and then you won't you only get part of the clip in slow motion. So I'm going to drag this down. Map the speed. So for motion vectors I've got this set to best. Um, image prep none. Speed is a remap mode. And we'll do a motion weighted blend. This isn't the greatest thing to try to resample because there isn't a whole lot going on but we're going to do it anyway. So speed. Um, right now we've it's at 24p. It's slow motion from 60p. So to get to 300 frames a second, we would set this at 20%. 20% of the 20% of 23 or 24 from 60 is 300. So we're going to render about five seconds of this. Okay, the render is done. So we're going to bring the footage back into Vegas. And now we have 300 frames per second played back at 24 frames a second. Let's look, frame through that and see how the render turned out. And it just disappears. So, not really great, um, but it works. So, let's prep that for using a, a 1080p project. So what we want to do is on most 60p projects it'll have aliasing and uh, color moray. So we want to remove that. And add an effect. We're going to add on the chroma blur. In this case it's uh, fairly light so we're going to take it about halfway. It's pretty unnoticeable in this video. Second thing we're going to do to remove aliasing, so we're going to add a, a quick pass in magic bullet, magic bullet looks. It's a basic, and you know you can spend hours in here uh, picking different ways that you want things to look. But uh, let's just go with that temporarily, and. Uh, going to add on a post effect of adding a tiny amount of grain. Working at 1080p, we're going to try to remove that grain in 1080 well, remove the aliasing in 1080p. I really don't like that look. Um, and you can customize this to look any way that you want. I'll edge noise soften. That's fine. 
And let's add back on the grain. You gotta. And I'm putting this at two percent for the grain. And I'll render that out so you can see how that looks. Uh, the grain's added on. Um, I'm rendering out for YouTube at 720p. The, the grain's added on to kind of help with that, that aliasing to help even it out. Grain's a lot more appealing to look at than um, something like aliasing. The chroma blur is for the color moray. On other clips, this would stand out even more. So in a nutshell, that's the quick and easy PC workflow for slowing footage down to uh, 300 frames per second.